Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and today we're going to put this to bed and answer the question Am I ruining my bass drum sound by cutting a porthole in it? Now this is the grand argument between drummers and sound engineers of the drummers who want a solid head without a porthole and the sound engineers who want to shove a mic through it and are desperate to cut a porthole in every drummer's head but the point is as a recording drummer like we are here in the studio we kind of need that flexibility to be able to get a mic through there. Now this isn't a decision I've ever had to make personally because all of my kicks have come with ported heads but when I recently picked up my Yamaha Absolute Custom Maple had the choice with that unported head, am I going to keep it unported or chuck a porthole in it? And you're definitely going to port it so we can make this video. <laughs> That's true. There That's very go. true. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway, you need to port it anyway. You need that flexibility for the studio to get that mic positioning. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. When you're looking for that attack, you do need to kind of bring that mic in and get close to that batter head on the inside where all that kind of sound pressure level is nice and high. But it does afford us the opportunity to do this before and after comparison of the same drum in the same room, same mics, same tuning. What is the exact difference between it ported and unported? Now for this example, because we're just after that kind of acoustic difference, if you will, we're gonna keep the mics in the same place for both examples. So just because we're porting that head, we're not moving the mic inside the bass drum. We really wanna capture that acoustic difference between ported and unported. So it's not a comparison between yeah, mic position. It's not production styles. This it's, is, it's does it change the sound of the drum? Let's get on with it. Alright, now that is a big difference. That's a much bigger difference than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. Huge. <laughs> if you can't hear that difference, honestly, you use the headphones on or change your headphones or change your speakers because that is a dramatic change. I mean, even, even the actual volume of the drum, we haven't adjusted gain levels, we haven't moved any mics, the drum was just a lot louder unported than with the hole in it. Yeah, the difference is so big, even in the recording software. When you look at the wavelengths, the wave patterns, it's much bigger on the unported drum. Yeah. It does actually make me wish that I could keep it unported. The, it's just got that chubbiness to the sound. I mean, it does come with a bit more sustain, so it wouldn't work in all applications, but I think the best way I can put it is that chubbiness. The note's got so much power and energy there that I do wish I could keep it that way, but with the nature of needing to mic it for different studio applications, I guess your hands are tied to a degree. To a degree, there is a solution. Just buy another head you tight kit and change them. <laughs> <laughs> Bass drum heads are expensive, man. You think I made of money? <laughs> and also on a side point, um, 
on a ported head. I did a, I did a festival once where I got uh, literally a cat got in my bass drum. You didn't hit it with the cat in there, did you? No, 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 no. But it, animal cruelty. But the, <laughs> the gig was delayed while we get this kitten out of the drum. <laughs> a kitten? Yeah. I'm, is that a gig? Yeah, an open air sort of. It was like a, a, a private garden thing. <laughs> well, imagine if it was a coated I head. I think I've got a picture. And you of hadn't it. even seen it. <laughs> so there we go. That's the question answered. Remember, we're not asking should you or shouldn't you because we're not talking about mic placement. But does it change the sound of the drum? And Yes, it does. A huge difference, a huge difference. Well, let us know what you think. I mean, maybe some of you guys prefer the ported sound. Some of you guys who like that shorter, kind of more punchy sound, let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this sound comparison, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are plenty more coming. See you again soon.